Saturday night. I was blessed, dude. Mm -hmm. it, was the, it was the best. It was for real the best moment I've ever had in comedy. Yeah, where are you at? I was at the cellar. Yes. Right before I went on, you walk into that little hallway before you go on, and then uh, Louie was standing there. And I was like, sick. I get to introduce Bay because she God. was coming in to watch me. Ooh. And I got to... It was sick. Yeah. They, they were, you know, and that Louie's right there. And I'm like, this is my girlfriend. This is Louie. And it was, it was so funny because she was like nervous. And she was like, yeah, yeah I, I had heard about you before. <laughs> I was just like, bitch, leave. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fool. Knock it off. <laughs> Make me look like a fucking idiot in front of Louie. And then, <laughs> and then I thought he was after me because I was supposed to be going on next. And uh, the host was like, Louie, do you want to go on next? And he was like, yeah. And I was sitting there. I was like, Fuck, fuck, dude, now I have bumping. to follow Louie. So then I, I, I audibly, I was like, oh, fuck. And he was like, he, he imparted some sick wisdom. He was like, no, it's good. Yeah. He's like, it's really good to have a big name go before you because then the whole audience is just like, my night's made. The rest of the night, like everything I paid Bonus for was round. worth it. It's house money. I'm going to be yeah. happy no matter <clears throat> True, what. yeah. And he was like, he had to follow like Seinfeld when Seinfeld was in like his prime. Yeah. When he was young and he would have to be like, he was like, just whatever you do, don't mention it when you go on. Because then, because he was like, I would follow Seinfeld and be like, oh, great. Now I got to follow Seinfeld like on stage. And the whole audience would be like, yeah, I guess that is bad. Yeah. And if you mention another you comedian. you do suck. If you, you can't ever mention yeah. another comedian on stage, your whole thing just blows yeah, up. Yeah. Like when the Woodman followed Keith Robinson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. That's like my idol, Keith Dude, Robinson. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, it's all, you know, living You've never heard of him before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> Fucking, that uh, was he hey. came out and did that. <laughs> he came out. Damn, there's some real venom behind <laughs> real that. Animosity, that dude. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, that I was so funny. I remember watching. Like, who's he talking? About? I'm like, oh no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can never mention another comedian while you're doing your set, unless mm -hmm. you're trashing them viciously. If you came out, I'm like, what a fucking. Uh, yeah, if I would have <laughs> just him. harassed Louis. Yeah, dude. And I'm like, I can't believe. It. <laughs> it's funny to sit there and listen to him. Like, yeah, no, you're right. When I'm like, what a fucking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh but then, so I go on after Louis, Louis obviously murders. And yeah. then the, the crazy thing is standing back there. And then when they, because it's a surprise, he wasn't on the lineup. So the the host real, the host did a great job. Eric, he's a good dude. He like secretly, he was like, anyway, great night tonight. Uh, your next comic, uh, Louis C.K. And the place Damn. was like, ah. And then. Uh, Should have came out like, where is he? I was looking for him. I was yeah, where's that well, son of a bitch. I was going to get him. <laughs> uh, Where is he? He just got away from me. <laughs> he's like, running. Be like, there you are. <laughs> no, he, uh, he obviously, he murdered. I was standing, I was sitting in the back. Yeah. Like, walk, walk, walk. Because I was like, I'm just going to do a bad version of him. That's like, just, I know, I know. It's in my head. It's in my head. Dude. I know, I know. 2021, summer 2021 is the summer the broskies drop all their bullshit, I know. Dude. Yeah. But. Uh, I'm trying to get there. Let it go, dude. Then I went on and I did very, very well. And while I was up there, while you're up there, you can see in the hallway, and Louis stayed to watch. So that was like once I noticed that he was standing there, I was like, "Oh shit!" shit. Oh, it crumbled, dude. And then like a minute in, I saw him like laughing very hard, and I was just like, "Dude, this is." No one could see it, obviously. The whole crowd's facing me, but I literally can see Louis in the back laughing, and I was just like, <laughs> I I, "Like it was the smile that was like, <laughs> like my face hurt from smiling so hard." I was just like, "You guys know what it's like, you know." <laughs> Yeah, it was a great night. That's so fucking. That's awesome. And then I got off stage and in front of Bay, he blessed me. He was like, "That was really good." I was just like, "Oh." oh. And he started talking to me about my set outside. I literally, I couldn't look at him. Yeah, it was so you did, much. You did good, the right. You did the right thing. So much goodness you coming. Did the right at me. thing. Did he like pull you aside? Did he like grab your arm? Yeah, he like... did immediately when we were in the hall after, and then he followed us up the steps, and we were talking, just standing out front talking, and. Yeah, it was one of those, it was so, like, it was everything I ever wanted. Yeah. And he was just talking to me about how good the set was, and I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like a blind guy, like, while he was talking. Like, oh, you thought that was good? It was, it was crazy. Fuck, that's awesome. And it didn't get in my head, the smile part. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because he was it's telling too much me, goodness. You were well, then the other comics that were standing in the back with him came oh. up, and they were like, dude, Louis said he liked your set. Like, it was, it was great. Oh. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah, he is. He is like, dude, he's the best. Dude, when he, he told he's my me number about one. it. He's my number one all time. Yeah. <laughs> he, might be for, he might be your forever person, dude. I think he might be my forever <laughs> person. Dude, he, dude that's, a, that's the blessing, dude. 
It was the blessing. That's the fucking sword on each shoulder, dude. Dude, it was. Go for, all you gotta do dude, is go his, forth now. His his lady told me like they they came back from the show and his lady told me that I don't know if you want me to say this, but oh, fuck it. Louis Louis was pounding on the wall. No, at one don't point. say it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Wait, told I, me, and I, I saw that like oh, while I was on fuck. stage, he was like oh. laughing, punching the wall, and, and I was I, just like, yeah. Well, it's also funny to dude. be on stage like. Yeah, dude, this smile. Like, anyway. Yeah, you ever see like a dog smile on like YouTube? <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, um, it was, uh, it was the best. That's awesome. Yeah. That's why I'm such a grump now. Yeah, why are you just grump? <laughs> I'm ticked. That was like real life Molly. You just did Molly. <laughs> it was yeah, everything like, I ever had. Molly. Yeah. Now you're just like, He's on the come down. Yeah. <sighs> mm. I think I suck. I need another hit of that. <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah, it was gave me. An, he, he was just explaining to my lady. Yeah, oh, that was a close one. And uh, he was like, "Yeah, he's likable." He like he was giving. Me, he was saying why I was doing well. He was like, "He smiles at the right time, mm-hmm. like when the crowd's uncomfortable, he smiles." Yeah. And I was like, "That's gonna fuck me up." <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, just yeah. be on stage for the next year, like while bombing, like. <laughs> yeah, anytime, uh, yeah. Anytime something goes I was, wrong, I heard you're like, this works. Smile wrong? <laughs> Did I, have I lost my smile? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hell yeah. Feel feel lame telling everybody about this, but it was a dude. very big moment for me. It's pretty sick. No, I, I I literally yeah. When she was telling me what, because you he went to like take a shit. I <laughs> shit, he he maniac. Shit. He took a shit as soon as he got back. I whiz, you're we were too bougie. much in your body, dude. You're yeah. Like, oh. yeah, everything had to get out. <laughs> yeah, just evacuate. <laughs> And uh, I was literally, as she was just telling me the details, I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my That's God. It was crazy. It was crazy. If I had seen, thankfully, I didn't see him until he was already laughing. Yeah. Like, if I had seen him at the beginning of my set, I would have just been like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, or just oh, if one of no. those, like. like yeah. If he, if Hold he on, just, guys. Like, what? If he was just <laughs> talking to other people. Actually, that's funny. I did see him talking to the other comics. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, he's not listening to this anymore. <laughs> and then I get off stage and they were like, dude, he was back here telling us how good you were. <laughs> like, he was literally to the other oh, comics, just like, this guy's good. And the other true. comics were like, fuck him, dude. He's you're, you're on stage, like, fucking cut that. All right, I'll cut that out of my act. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same joke I've been doing over and over again. It's like, yeah, that shit sucks anyway. Who cares, dude? <laughs> like, that's brand new. I'm just working new material. <laughs> it's five years old. That's a huge W, dude. It was, it was the biggest W I've had. You got a relish. Crazy. Literally, it was the coolest moment since. I've been working pretty hard on my body. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. my back you guys want to see how long I can hold my breath? <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I told my cousin I could tread water for 30 minutes yesterday. I made it seven minutes. It's a long time. Seven was pretty long. Seven minutes is long. Yeah. 30s, uh, I mean, you test yourself, dude. Yeah, I mean, I had to. I yeah. retired the gainer, though. Last, I think I did my last gainer ever. I was oh, doing them every year to, like, test yeah. my youth. I was like, I'm going to do these till I'm 60. Dude, they're getting tougher they to do. And it's also like, I might hit my head and, like, severely handicap myself. Yes. So I did my last one. I did the last one for the fam, dude. I didn't even get like. Man, I hope that. I didn't get halfway around. I don't around. hope that happens, but if you cracked your head and became like, not a vegetable, but close, yeah. this podcast would take if off. If I became dude. like an astrophysicist or something, if I hit me, my head and became an astrophysicist. Or a guy who thinks he's an astrophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so sick, dude. The podcast would be. The universe. I was like, shut up, dumbass. You <laughs> actually have no idea. I'm actually smart. Dude, if I became a quadriplegic and went to community college for astrophysics. <laughs> I tried to do a gainer. <laughs> you could just give talks. You can go to schools. I could. Wheelchair talks about the oh. ho- no horseplay. Dude, Those I mean, rules are at the... I, the, I might have to go in a wheelchair and get in my head. Yeah. How much... Dude, but seriously, imagine, though, you didn't have to deal with the pressure of stand-up. You could just go give wheelchair talks and be like, no one will ever keep me down. I always have happy thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what life throws at yeah, you, you can I, overcome I, it. I, okay, kids? Just pop out. And be like, right, I was just fucking around, dude. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. I did vape cigarettes. Now I look like this. There's actually a movie about that that's really good. What? It's Joaquin Phoenix. You ever see it? He gets, a, he gets in a car accident. He's in a wheelchair the rest of oh, his life. Oh, fuck, no. It's Really fucking great. It's him and Jonah Hill. Oh, Jonah Hill's. I finished Moneyball. Really good movie. Moneyball is the shit, dude. (sighs) What a deep movie, dude. It's about so much more than just baseball. How can you not be romantic, dude? I was rocking a Billy Bean jersey this weekend. Were you really? Yeah. I went to another. Was he really that bad at baseball? 
Did he stink that bad? Uh, yeah, I think he was. He didn't pan out. I think he, yeah. He, he had all five tools. He didn't tools. pan out like Strasburg, dude. Yeah, true. That's your boy. True. He's the, Strasburg is the man. <laughs> you know what fucked me up about that movie? I watched it last night, and it was... Uh, so there's like the base. He's like changing the game of baseball. Huge endeavor. Yeah. And then there's that subplot of just him with that little girl, like listening to songs and stuff. It's beautiful. Equally as huge. And in the end, yeah. he just goes... He's like, dude, you hit a home run. You didn't know it. And I was like, I mean, I'm spoiling the whole movie, but it was no, it's the fact that he, matter. the fact that he chooses his daughter and he's yeah. just like, man, I'm a loser. But you're, he's playing another game, and it's just like, yeah. oh, I was spinning in my bed last night. I was like, that's so sweet. It's the best. It's so sweet. you can imagine dude. on an airplane that that's a full cry. Oh, dude, it, it, yeah, that'd be that's over. a cry. So sweet. Change when she the game. plays the song. It's like I'm just da, 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 and the Red Sox. Da, da. The guy, the Red Sox, at least gave the hat nod, hat tip. Yeah. Was like, bro, you are the man. You did it. First guy over the wall gets arrows, just shredded. Yeah, or he's bleed. First guy over the wall is bleeding. Yeah, he's like, we're gonna do what you do, and we're gonna win. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm staying with the A's, baby. How long did he stay with the A's for in real life? He's still something there. Is he really? Yeah, yeah. Uh. I was like mad at Philip. They're heading to Hawk. Vegas, dude. The what? The Oakland A's. They're, They're heading leaving to Vegas? Oakland. It kind of makes Moneyball sadder. They used to be in Philadelphia. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. I did. Brittany, Brittany hit me with like, you know they were from Philly. I, I had the, I had to fight the thing to be like, yeah, I knew that. And I, I like, think the it. Warriors, too. Re- really? So both Bay Area teams were originally from Philly. I think the Philadelphia, the basketball, the Warriors. Um, really? Check that out. I, I could be wrong on that. I didn't know that. I could be I could be wrong on that. Um but yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman's great in that. He I was right. Dude, obviously. <laughs> my wife didn't appreciate it, but I was like she I was like trying to like He's full uh, Phil in that movie. Dude, I was sitting he there. He is it identical to Phil Gillis in that movie. Cuz no, I'm sure he's like a theater guy and like yeah. seeing how well he did just like a baseball. Yeah. Uh so is the manager like the coach basically? Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah I was, that was another thing. She's like, so what is the manager? I was like, it's the like, Don't worry coach. about it. Like, he, sets, the, he sets the lineup. She's like, what's yeah. the general manager? I'm like, that's like the, the, the boss coach. I was like, shut yeah. up, dude. He I don't buys know. the players. I don't know. <laughs> but dude, him, just in the first scene I saw him with his facial expressions, I was like, this is insane, yeah. dude. Of him just being like, yeah, nah, I don't know. Yeah. I was like, dude, this you're is. Killing this team. This is, you're yeah, killing this team. You're killing this team. You're killing this team. Are you Man. outside of your mind? Brad Pitt, so good in that. The scouts in the beginning, they're like, he's got an ugly girlfriend. We can't draft him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was very, yeah. Jonah Hill is the best. He's awesome, man. Yeah. I watched uh, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead again. You know, oh, yeah, that was a good one. one. <laughs> so intense. So good. Told it you, is my, awesome. My brother told our parents yeah, to watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, the first scene. They were upset. just an intense butt fucking. <laughs> yeah, dude. Intense oh, the, it, doggy it, style. That was upsetting them. And then the fact there's just a movie about kids killing, killing the their parents. parents. Yeah, they were like, yeah. why would you tell us to watch that? It's kind of fucked up. Parents wouldn't like that movie. No. That's a very depressing Yeah, it's sad. Just the wheels fly off those guys' lives. Oh. <laughs> the fucking... Uh, Ethan Hawke calling him is so fun. Like, it went bad. Everything's <laughs> bad. Oh God, I need help. <laughs> it's, it makes me laugh. They, like when your life gets to that point, yeah, where you're just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, when the wheels finally yeah. fly off. Help! I need help. It. Oh. You're living moment to moment. Thank you. That's great. I ran into Steve <laughs> from Love on the Spectrum. <laughs> By the way, let me tell you something. He's not faking. Oh, dude, I didn't say you faked. No, I know. But there, some people were out there. Anytime people watch Love on the Spectrum, oh, bro. Like, I think that guy might be faking. I think he's faking it for those tits. Yeah, I think he's faking for those sure. Those tits tits. I was, I was like. He's not. I ran the- into him. He was sitting outside of a coffee shop. I was walking in gay San Francisco. Yeah. It was Steve. I asked for a photo. Yeah. That's awesome. And I got And he was like, oh, sure. all right. Did he? Yeah. That's exactly how he talks. Dude. Me and him said goodbye to each other like six different times. That's awesome. Turns out I might be a little, I might, Dude, spectrum, I'm spectrum up too. That's what he did we on his- We started chatting back and forth and I couldn't get away from saying goodbye. That's on his date. He did that. Yeah. He, he you know, he basically, his lady wanted a second date and he goes, hmm, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yes. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Dude, it was- the dude's a master. He was like, have a nice day. I was like, you have a nice day, Steve. And he was like, have a nice weekend. It's the weekend now. <laughs> I was like, God damn, you're the best ever. I tend to do that. I know it's kind of funny. Dude, that guy rules. He was he was exactly who he was in the show. He's a sweetheart. An utter sweetheart, dude. Somebody, I hope somebody has 
sucked him. Are they better? Somebody, everybody loves that guy. Well, he's pe- he's pretty papered too. The dude lives. I saw his apartment in the thing. Yeah, he's like an apartment living assistant. Yeah, the, dude. I I uh, everyone on that show. I watched the American season, dude. American season so James good. is the boy. Dude. Oh. I wasn't going to use that knife anyway. Oh, true. You turned me on to James. I was now. I'm a Sabat guy. Sabat, Sabat, Sabat made Sabat me so happy. Dude. Sabat rules. This is a year that we are hoping that you're gonna find a girlfriend. I don't want an Indian girlfriend. I'm Sabat, Sabat rules. Sabat made Sabat me rules. so happy. Dude. Sabat rules. Sabat and his girl happy made ending. me cry. Dude. Rachel, I think sobbed. Yeah, he had a happy ending. James, James is wasting his tower for his damsel, dude. He will. He will dude, get her. He's, the way he shows out. At he kind of had a village. babe at the Ren Fest, didn't he? He did. did. I get that correct? But she asked if he wanted to be friends with him. Fuck. She hit him with, let's just be friends, dude. And you see him physically process the information. It's just like, Jesus Christ. Spot sang a Mary Poppins song out of the power of love. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah. Uh, there's God, dude. Yeah. You want to talk about seeing Christ, seeing God? That's how it works. Oh, yeah. There was the other guy with the lady who like went and they would just look at tigers all the time. I saw that. And they would chill together. That squad. That was such a good couple. Bro, when she Dude, he when, gave her gummy he gave her gummy worms being like, "All right, cool, we're going to split these up." And he's like, "Um, I'd sure like to have some would, of those." Yeah, and she was like, she was like, "No." She was like, she "These was are like, mine. These are my gifts from you." And she wouldn't get she wouldn't share the gummies with him and he had to sit there on the beach at a sunset and be like, <sighs> "He counted some pelicans though. He saw some birds." True. Yeah. That was, that was one of my favorite <laughs> lines. He was like, "One, two, three, four, five pelicans." And she's like, "It's a good thing we're humans. We're not we're not birds." <laughs> <laughs> it's like nice. There's the pelican. Yeah. But we're not birds. We're people. Right. When I watch Love on the Spectrum, Brittany's always like, you shouldn't, you, you're just making fun. I'm like, I'm not making, not fun, making of this. fun of this. I'm watching this and I'm like, I'm watching their interactions dating and I'm like, what they call neurotypical. I'm like, it's, you just have extra plugins. You're, or you are autistic, yeah. but you got the Java updates to where you go on a, you can like go on a date and like just spin a more like intricate thing. But in reality, I'm watching them on a date. And I'm like, that's the exact, oh, it's, process. The exact it's the exact same, same process, process going on of being They're like, streamlined it. So, fuck, I don't have anything yeah. else to Oh, my God, I'm ruining it. Inside, I love you. Going, I love you so much. I'm out of stuff to say. I'll just start going like, uh, so what did you go to school for? I have that one extra trick up my yeah. sleeve. Like, what, what do you, you do? What do you do for a living? Exactly. Oh, that's I can it's go, never interesting. I, no, I can go on more oh. paths. And I just want to talk about what I'm interested that's in the cool. whole time. And if they're like, yeah, I don't like that. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it sucked. I dropped a piece of silverware. I was out to dinner. I dropped a piece of silverware. Oh, damn it. Did you do it? I wasn't going to use it anyway. But nobody knew what I was talking about. It's like, fuck, Matt would have loved it. <laughs> that was the funniest. When did you do that when we were out to dinner? <laughs> I think I did it the whole trip. <laughs> Knocked shit over, dropped it. <laughs> damn it. I wasn't going to use that anyway. <laughs> I don't drink wine. <laughs> that was it. Over and over again. I had a battle. Somebody was arguing with me about that. They were like, season one is the best season. I was like, it's season three. Oh, the American on, versions, it's come not on. even close. Come on. The American yeah. version has it unlocked. Sabat, James. Come on. Uh, fucking. Hit us, dude. Straight hit us. The Asian girl who orgasms on a first date and then starts <laughs> dumping everybody. <laughs> it's not even close. Making it, or not making it, fucking uh, Love on the Spectrum, season three. I'm trying to get these guys. Oh, Steve. How can I forget my dog, Steve? Oh, come on, man. Steve's might be the best character of, of all. It's Michael, unbelievable. That's the problem. They do have Michael. But, dude. They do have Michael. They do have the guy who says, yes. <laughs> true, true. Oh, I have a female cat named Marmalade. <laughs> Should we head back inside, do you think? Yeah. Would like to stay out? Okay. I don't know. It's a tough call. That guy carries that season pretty hard. Him and Michael carry it. Fucking what's his name? The dude that's like. What a lovely day. That, yeah. Mark. Mark is, Mark's good. Mark. You might recognize this dinosaur from the hit 1997 film Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's a velociraptor. Yeah, he, that, yeah, Australia was, Michael was crazy. Michael was nice. When those dudes get medieval, there's like, I don't know what it does to my brain, but when like an autistic guy gets in like medieval. And dude, Kelvin. Kelvin. The Asian dude that was, oh. I mean, patiently waiting. Season one has oh. some hitters. Yeah, dude, I think it, Kelvin might have been the best. They bang actually. with anybody, dude. They're from Western they City. Yeah. They fucking bang with anybody. Damn, I forgot about Kelvin. I say that to myself at least five times a day. What, I'm patiently waiting? I'm waiting patiently, yeah. Uh, but I'm uh, waiting wait patiently. patiently. <laughs> She's like, do, do you want to play video games? Uh, I'm patiently waiting. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> dog, 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 dog.
dog, 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 dog. But anyway, yeah. Who that? You want to be Phil? Big Phil? No, throw what you want. There he is, dude. Big Phil. <laughs> God damn, you look good. He says I can't hear him. You look good. Tell me, he looks oh, good. Yeah. You say something nice to the people. Just anything. During these challenging times, we'll only be stronger when we're done. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you might have infected him, bro. He might have just, yeah, you might have just died. But that was a good last message. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't die in that goddamn sweats. <laughs> Something that Oprah would wear. Okay, beat it. He said, I'm going to die dressed like Oprah. <laughs> Phil came in from working outside and hit me with the fucking, I just listened to your podcast. It's you and your friend talking about wiping your ass for 20 minutes you're not allowed to take mom's car anymore damn so he, he hit me with the you're grounded so that because the, the, the cruise was in the shop how fun was that though it's so fun green skins versus jaculus yeah <sighs> what's your dad say about your video game he playing? doesn't know dude he doesn't know you think i'm gonna let phil see me playing dracula i'm gonna text him dude what would he say if he walked in on you doing the green skins versus dracula <laughs> <laughs> he would be upset dude because i'm i'm la- i put it in my room i'm laying on my bed playing it Oh. He would walk in and see me laying on my belly on a computer, with feet in the air, <laughs> kicking. He'd see me, and I'd have to, and, it, and I'm facing the wall, so, so he, the door would be behind me. So he'd open it, and I'd have to be like, "Get out of here, Dad!" <laughs> all the way up in your side. Shorts are all the way up. I'm like, Dad, get the fuck out! He's like, "It's dinner." I'm like, "I'm not ready yet." He can see your. I told you I didn't want any. <laughs> Phil had to do that once. What? Tibble got in a fight in the front yard with, with another with cat. So it was like, you know, five, six in the morning. You just hear two cats screaming. Oh, Phil so- ran down in his whitey tighties. This <laughs> is <laughs> like 6 a.m. So people are like walking out to get the oh, newspaper and shit. <laughs> School buses. Oh. Phil was out in just his whitey tighties and a fishing rod. Swinging at the cats. That was his he grabbed a fishing rod from the closet that was right by the door and just started whipping the cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's a strong tradition in the Gillis family, too. Cat whipping? If your cat's in a fight, you got to jump in, dude. Oh, my God. I was ready to strangle a fox. You have to, man. And then he, he came, me and him got in a beef, dude. Hard beef. Why? I haven't seen him spaz like this in a while. He came back from the men's club. Had a couple of drinks in him. A couple pops. He's like, we're watching golf. We're watching it. And I was like, hockey's on. It's playoff hockey. So Phil comes in. He's like, put it on. And then he, like, scream, he was like screaming, like trying to fight me. In front of my family, everybody in there was yeah. like, Phil, relax. And he was like, what the fuck? It? Like, he, was he needed to see what was going yeah, on. But he doesn't know. So they lost the remote that controls the TV. They have the cable remote. That's what they use. But they, they lost the remote. So I downloaded an app on my phone that can be – that's the remote. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kept changing it <laughs> from anywhere. You can, I can go in my room and change it. He had no idea. I can hit, like, channel down, and you just hear this, God <sighs> fucking damn it. <laughs> and then I just uh, – I went to YouTube and typed in 10 hours of Trump saying, bing, bing, bong, <laughs> bing, bing, bong, <laughs> and put that on. And uh, that literally resulted in him chasing me through the house. Because <laughs> I couldn't get it back off. I couldn't get it off. I was like, I don't know how to change it. He was like, change it right now, motherfucker. <laughs> like, bing, bing, it was just Trump on full volume going, bing, bing, bong, <laughs> bing, bing, bong. And then my niece and nephew started going, bing, bing, bong. <laughs> like screaming, everyone was screaming at him. Bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong. They have done a great job of prop- propagandizing just everybody to be like, fuck free healthcare, dude. Fuck what that, am I, dude. gay? You just call me gay? <laughs> I'm trying to pay. And then everyone goes to the hospital and like, 80,000 bucks? And they're like, this is crazy, man. And you're like, yeah, we can set it up for free. You're like, fuck you, dude. Don't ever say that again. I'd rather stay my whole life in medical debt. I'm in debt because I broke my leg on a bike. I'm in debt for America. <laughs> dude, I brought it up to my, my dad. I got in a fight with Phil like yesterday. Yeah. Not a fight because I was just like, just tell me why, dude. Why? He's like, yeah. guys, go to those other countries, Shane. You sit in a waiting room for three days. I'm like, what are you talking? You, you've never been to England. I was like, every Western country has it. He's like, yeah, like who? Name one. Canada? 
like, that's it. That's their talking points. Is just like France, <laughs> <laughs> fucking France, dude. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, dad policy would definitely be like France is gay. That's our number one <laughs> diplomatic measure. War on France. <laughs> War on France just by calling them gay. Turn the Middle East to glass. Start over. <laughs> They ought to do that, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was in Phil's ass, too. He got a cold. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, I heard him. He was a motherfucker about it. Mm-hmm. Dude, we got pizza. Stuck his hands all over the pizza. I was like, you're such a fucking dickhead. I stayed home and then argued with my dad. Classic Saturday night. What'd you, what'd Saturday you night fever. <laughs> it was me and my dad. And I'm, like, I'm like, you're being an asshole. You're sick, dude. What if you have it? Yeah, really? Just go to your room. And he was like, you fuck, get out of my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he yeah. touched all the za. He touched all the za. What the fuck? Why it. was he doing that? I think he was drunk. Was he really? I think he had a couple drinks. And he was like, you're being an asshole. It's a cold, Shane. And I was like, even if it's just a cold, stop touching all the food. Yeah, this is a time, especially yeah. colds aren't really welcome right now. Colds are not welcome. I was like, if I get a cold, I'm fucked. I'm going to have to literally like cancel yeah. September. Yeah, I forgot about this. You want to know what had Phil fired up? What? Got honky Phil fired up. What? Uh, LaMare, you'll like this. Do you remember when, who? what's his name? Montrez? Harrell. Montrez Harrell. Yeah. So last game he called Luka Doncic, Doncic, right? He called him a white, pussy-ass white boy. Called Luka Doncic? Yeah, Luka Doncic is a honk. Yeah. Montrez, very, his... His life matters a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's that. Boy. So Phil took it personally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Luka Doncic hits a fucking ridiculous game winner. Balls out last night. Like, sick fucking play. Really? Phil's like, yeah, how about that? There's that pussy-ass white boy for you. Like, just. <laughs> but in Phil's defense, because he was arguing this with me, and I was like, well, obviously. He's like, now imagine if that was different. Yeah. If Luka Doncic made a play and said that to Montrez, what would happen? Yeah. And I was like, you understand it is different, right? Mm -hmm. A little. He's like, tell me why. And I was like, you want me to explain, like, (laughs) history? (laughs) Is that what you want right now? But it was funny to hear Doc Rivers, his Montrez's coach, be like, yeah, people are sensitive these days. I sat him down. I was like, you can't say stuff like that. Can't say pussy-ass white boy. Can't call it. And he's like, look, I know him. I don't think it was a race thing. Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> a pussy ass white boy. Yeah. I think it might have been slightly racial. <laughs> it was funny. It that was. Is, it was a. It was a big moment for the whites in basketball. Dude, I, I'd be sick if black dudes can't say white. If I was like, excuse me, what did you say to me? What did you say to me? <gasps> 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 Fuck was I? I was watching some sport with Phil. I think it was just golf. Mm-hmm. And they no, it couldn't have been golf because there were AIDS pills commercials. Anyway, there was HIV pills commercials, and I was yeah. like, Dad, you're going to need some of those. <laughs> and he was like, what's that? What's that? And he started watching the commercial, and he was like, what? I was like, because you have gay AIDS. <laughs> and he was like, he got so upset. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Get to bed, Phil. Greenhouse, Shane. <laughs> I want to see you in that. Lay down. I want to see you in the sides of that bed, dude. Lay in that bed. Fuck. Lay down. Let me get my stuff off. (laughs) Last night, Phil Phil had a couple cocktails. Me and him were sitting there, and he goes, now, Shane, you want to know something? And I was like, what's that? And he was like, now, let's say Joe Biden dies in office. Who's next in line to be president? And I was like, Kamala Harris? And he was like, she was born in Jamaica. She can't be president. You know who's after that? Nancy Pelosi. That's what this is all about. And I was just like, Kamala Harris was born in Oakland. <laughs> and I was like, who told you that? And he was like, the shuttle driver on the way to the Mechanicsburg Club picnic. Oh, <laughs> he was like, he just told me it. And I was like, yeah, that guy <laughs> just lied to you. So Phil's standing there. Look, Phil's looking at his phone. Yeah. This is Monday Night Football, so he's got some bets coming in. He's got to take yeah, a look. Yeah. And I went behind him and went, go, Phil, what are you doing? And I grabbed his sides. <laughs> he got so fucking pissed. Dude. I scared the shit out. I scared him so much that he elbowed my sister. Oh. And dude, Did he dropped his phone? No, he held on to it. But he, he, I've never seen someone spaz this hard, dude. Phil spazzed. 
I go, I go, Phil, what are you doing? He's like, God damn, you fucking idiot. Like, just, he fucking spazzed, dude. And then my mom was laughing. Me and my mom were laughing. He was like, you two fucking idiots. And then she, I was like, what would you call mom? And he's like, I was, I was talking to your sister. Like, he had to, while, while angry, he had to deflect. <laughs> I'm airing my family out pretty hard on this, but it was Monday, which is when he definitely never drinks. Mm-hmm. He doesn't drink on Mondays. Really? So he's always so mean on Mondays. <laughs> He's always so fucking angry. Yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, it's Monday. You're not drinking? He's like, yeah, that's it, Shane. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm not drinking, Shane. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> it's like, dude. I almost, oh. Phil, so we're at dinner, and somebody was like, oh, my skin's all dry. I was like, oh, I have some cocoa butter in my room. And Phil was instantly like, <laughs> and I was like, what, dude? What? Wait, I shouldn't have that? said what. This is a dinner. Like, it's like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, this is like, man. And Phil was like, <laughs> because <laughs> i said i had lotion in my room and, then, and i was so close to being like i don't use lotion oh you almost offended i had yourself. to it was a and then you don't want to say that you well, can't you, be at the dinner you, table you and be like lotion, i don't though. use lotion you don't use lotion okay if at hotel i use lotion sometimes True, only only on the road he's been on my ass for this mustache what about it what do you think he must dude? just shave it up yeah what's his problem he's like what's this what's this little What's yeah. that on your yeah, lips? They get, they get, dads get whacked, man. He gets man. so mad. If you wear like a new mm. thing or something, it he fucks them up. He fucking hates my tracksuit. What's his problem? <laughs> hates it. What's his problem? He's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? What yeah, is I don't it? know. He doesn't know exactly. I don't think he understands exactly what his <laughs> problem is. But if he sees his son in a totally matching outfit, he's like, what's going on here? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah. What are you doing? Is Phil, we Phil should, down there? What we should yeah, do he is, he is. is before Phil yeah, gets the no, night before Phil all. gets there, we should choreograph a dance. We should. Us <laughs> and the rest of the house should chore- figure out a jump long, out the window. And when Phil comes in, <sighs> don't say anything to him. But while we're all chilling, hit play on tonight's going to be a good night. Oh, my. And each one of us. <laughs> 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 we should we should use that trip as an opportunity phil would like, sit there like an old man and just be like <laughs> <laughs> he would okay, be like okay okay oh fuck <laughs> no it's you it phil's means, phil's this will be rough he's this gonna do, isn't gonna go well you don't you think so he's gonna be partying hard he's gonna be chilling at the beach how many days is he gonna be down there for I think three or four. Three. Dude, is he going for the latter half? He's oh, going he's going to tag me out. Yeah. I'll be there for... T- oh, dude. This is going to be one of the nicest... Uh, your dad's going to be very fond of this. I'm telling you, man. This is... <laughs> With Spud? Yeah, dude. He's going to love Spud. Spud might be the weirdest he's combo. He's going to love Spud. Spud's going to hit him with a story, and Phil's going to be like, this guy, Shane, your friends are weird. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Spud's, Spud's, Spud's hit me with stories where I've been like, oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? Dude, it was it was wicked, man. She's like, "You, how many drinks do you have? I was like, like three, three drinks. Four, I don't know. That, many, I started yeah, hitting with the ABV. You hit it with, I was the, like, Phil, you hit it with the Phil Gillis, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I had fucking two drinks. What the hell? I know. I know you did. I watched you have six. What are you, a fucking woman? Shut up. I go with Phil to the bar, his bar. Oh. And it's always nice. It's always a nice time. It's a nice bonding. Me and Phil don't hang out oh, like yeah. that. But then as soon as we get home, my mom's always like, how did you get home? Did you drive? And he's like, I had two beers. And I'm like, nah, dad, I saw you have six. He's like, God damn it, shut up. You're like a woman. That's what he always hits me with. Every once in a while, Phil would come home from the nights or something. It'd be Phil on the loose. You got to just get out, dude. Because he, he wasn't doing it. He wasn't uh, actually hitting you. He was just, he was like, I'm going to get you. Like, okay, would run. Yeah. It was very fun. So it wasn't an angry kick. No, but every once in a while, he would catch you and actually be like, yeah, you don't run. <laughs> like, hit you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He was teaching lessons. He came home to teach some lessons. He, <laughs> he DUI'd from the, the nights to be like, I got to toughen these kids up i gotta teach them a lesson yeah for sure and i remember we were laying in the living room watching tv and he kicked my sister and she like rolled in she like exaggerated the roll but she rolled and hit the tree and the what tree, was the lesson the tree fell the lesson was probably it was probably something like turn this off i'm watching something <laughs> <laughs> um here's what i'd like to discuss i went to a girl's high school basketball game this weekend uh, to watch my old man coach <laughs> <laughs> What's he running, zone, or is he, woman? Uh, is he running, running woman on woman? No, they're running little kid soccer where everyone screams and chases the ball. Uh, and the, whoever has the ball looks straight down <laughs> and goes like this. And it, goes. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. What? I, I couldn't believe it. I was... 
I've had arguments with my dad about how many points I would score. And he's like, Shane, these girls would whoop your ass. And I watched. I was like, Definitely dude, not, dude. I would score 100 points. I mean, yeah. what? And also, the whole time I was thinking, this is how Phil is going to die. <laughs> Phil is going to have a heart attack in the middle of a girl's high Girl, school. Six A ball <clears throat> on the bench in front of all the girls that he's coaching, and they're all going to be like, "Ew!" <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's and statue then, stuff, dude. He's going to die at like at Redland or Cedar Cliff, and they're going to have to put him on the bus. Oh, <laughs> he's going to die at an away game. And it used to be bad. Before comedy was going well, my parents would be like, you are a fucking loser. <laughs> now they're like, dude, how are you doing this? Yeah. How is yeah, this working? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. You're like, it, I've been, I've been I don't training. Know. <laughs> yeah, I'll come up the steps and be like, I think I'm going to buy this house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more word out of you, dad. I'm buying this yeah, fucking no, house. No, for real. It's funny. I make fun of Phil for money now. Puts him in his place, you know? Did, well, what for, a gift. For what years, gift. he was correct. He'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I'd be down there playing Xbox. It makes it so much more powerful when you finally yeah, get like, like, I told the powers you. in you. I dude. told you. Yeah. It's I like told when you beat your dad on, yeah, I was on one on one. Yeah. Basketball uh, for the first time. You're doing it every day to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're slamming on your dad I'm... every fucking day with a wallet. <laughs> uh, so I was downstairs. Home. My parents came home and my mom was excited to see me. Ran, ran down the steps. Midway through, <laughs> dropped the cookie. She was eating Oreos. Midway through, dropped the cookie and reached down to pick it up. On the lower step? Bro, fell. I'm talking five steps. Flat, parallel, <laughs> head first into a wall. Oh, my. The wall, oh, at the joint? At the base of the <laughs> oh, steps. Oh, God. In the basement. Oh, Jesus. So she was knocked out unconscious. And we so, knew that was coming. But this is the best part. Katie's like, <laughs> oh, be God, mom's dead. And my dad's upstairs. Hey, everybody's like, what? You can hear his voice crack. It was actually very sweet. He's like, oh, God, what? <laughs> And she was like, call an ambulance. He was like, okay, all right, what's going on? And I was down there like, it's all right, everybody relax. I was the only sober one. I was like, relax. Yeah. But that, I did think. Relax, uh, I'm up 30. I did think my mom. <laughs> dude, I, Just finished, the time I did finish out. the game. I pressed pause. I paused I paused my game for this. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, my mom started to come too, but the ambulance was already on its way. Oh, no. Fucking EMT guys come That's like down. like 10 grand, right? She's like laying there. I have no idea. She was laying there. And Money then she's like, she's like, I'm okay. And then sits up and her hand was shattered. No! And she was like, but my hand hurts. And it was like, oh my God, dude. She an old woman's hand just gnarled, dude. Gnarled. Every, even everybody. My dad was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but EMTs are puking. She was so embarrassed. I hate when I go home and everybody around me is a fucking dumbass Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I go home and I'm like, oh my God, I just roll my eyes, dude. Because oh I'm, God. you know me, I'm nice. Yeah, dude. So like if my dad starts with his shit, I'm just like, <sighs> oh. and I grit my teeth and I get through the holidays of listening course. to fucking ignorant trash. I don't know how many more I have in me though, dude. I, it's time we start discussing whether or not it's acceptable to go home and even hang out with your parents if they're going to spout bullshit. Yeah, dude crazy i would literally still go home if my dad was a nazi <laughs> i'd be like yo my dad's wild yeah if phil got if late in his life phil decides like it's time to bring back the reich collecting paraphernalia yes i'd be like all right phil That's fucking less weird than women's basketball <laughs> what would you rather do have your dad be a Oh, this is mean. Never mind. No, no, go ahead. i'm being mean to phil dude phil's it's the best. not mean but i think i know what you're saying i can't tell you how much i love my dad Dude, I know. We know you love. Him. I know. I, I so love my dad. I'll I'll shoot the question. I'm gonna be so fucking sad when Phil dies. Oh man, I, would... I might quit comedy when Phil dies. That makes sense. I might be done. Jeff, just toss on. I'll Jeff say there's cat. nothing funny anymore. You have to pick up the team. Phil's Phil's the laughter in my life. Yeah, you have to pick up the team, dude. Yeah, I'll have to go coach with girls those high girls school basketball. Shape. With those girls, what, so what would you? I mean, the answer. I I thought you were about to ask me. Would you rather? Would you rather your dad, dad be a Nazi or a, a women's? Ass. Not a pedo. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> no, Did you just call my dad a no, pedophile? No, I thought you thought that you were making that connection. And you were just not trying to do the thing. The For real, obviously, the answer is you want your dad to be a Nazi over yeah, a pedophile. Obviously, yeah. I don't think your dad doesn't have a funny bone in his body, bro, in terms of that nonsense. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm pissed you're if I thought, bringing if I even, it up to debate. If I even no, if I even thought he did, I would confront you live. I would whip his ass. I would confront both of you guys live. You would confront me and my father live sussed, on the podcast? I've sussed, <laughs> I've sussed out your whole situation. Not a goddamn pedophile in your guys' house. No, there's not a pedophile. Not a goddamn pedophile anywhere near Thank that place. Thank Christ. Yeah, seriously, dude. Imagine growing up in a pedophile house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna I'm do sure. that, dude. Phil, Phil will make a plate of like 40 hot dogs. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, dude, no one wants these fucking hot dogs. <laughs> and then I'll just stand there and just slurp them down. Just oh, just if, if I walked over and deep turned a hot dog in front of Phil, he'd. <laughs> What do you think you do? You'd be fucking up. He'd fucking hit my arm. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, you'd fuck him up like a Japan started making VCRs. Uh, I knew he couldn't resist. <laughs> I knew he couldn't resist. He heard the chatter still. Doing a proper goodbye. Later. You're out of here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to need probably eight or ten. You need eight to ten tickets. On Thursday night. Okay. Believe me, there's seats all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> sold out. Oh, yeah, it's sold. Pittsburgh Improv sold out, baby. I also, your car, the cars are facing the line. I told you guys. I told you guys. I told you guys. <laughs> no, they won't. They did. When? They ticketed your car. <laughs> we parked. I saw him parked the other way, so I parked the other way, and I said Phil's gonna come out, and he's gonna say. Guys, just so you know, your car's facing the opposite direction. They're gonna, they're gonna ticket Cops? you. I've seen them ticket you. I'd love to see them touch my car. If, if those fucking dumb pigs come out, I'm gonna push them. <laughs> Phil, this house, we believe in science. True. If I see blue lives around my car, Phil, I'm gonna fucking go off. Fuck the blue lives. <laughs> Trump's a pussy. <laughs> Phil. Phil. They put the rumble strips. Phil. Trump's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Oh. Told you, told you. Oh, both that's things. so good. How how well do I know that man? That's so good. As soon as the red light comes on, he's he's got to be around the camera. Oh, yeah. He's a little gory hound, dude. I was home like two weeks ago. My dad for lunch was eating a tuna wrapped with milk. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. In the middle of the day, I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, tuna dude. and dairy. Tuna and milk. Yikes, just, dude! Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh. Dads have some that's kind what a cat of would have for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> crazy dude. it is dude but i'll say this man dads know how to make tuna salad like a fucking michelin star chef they just do it fucking nice right amount of salt and how pepper. many dads <laughs> how many dads have you seen do this <laughs> two including yours <laughs> i assume it was a decent I sandwich i assume he threw down yeah now, my dad used to hook up tuna salad put yeah. a little relish in it fucking be so jealous a little black pepper Make it nice. My dad would eat cottage cheese. Love it. Out of the can. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I don't no, know. I don't think it's normal. It's I mean, disgusting. people do I it. I love it. Do you eat yeah. cottage cheese at no. all? Dude, no. I love it. He just would spoon cottage yeah. cheese. Put black pepper in there or sometimes a little any, bit of honey? I don't think anything. Just, just raw dogging it? He would. Yeah, he'd be watching sports, drinking. I'd turn around, he'd be in the kitchen. <laughs> just watching the game still. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Scooping down a lump of Breckstones. Oh. Uh, when your family rep ever represent themselves in court? No. <laughs> but my dad. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> yeah, had tried yeah, 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 or yeah. thought about it. So I was getting. Uh, my friend got arrested for. We were. I was driving. We were driving past the cop, and he screamed. He was like, "Fucking pig!" Yeah, they don't like that. And he, he caught us. Mm -hmm. And he tried to. He pulled me out of the car. He didn't pull me out. He made me come out of the car. And he was like, "What'd you say?" And I was like, "I didn't say it." He was like, who did? I was like, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I was like, I can't snitch on my I friends. Ain't no rat. He was like, well, it came from your side of the car. And I was like, yeah. And it, it wasn't did. me. <laughs> Do the math here. Come on, dude. I'm not <laughs> telling you, but it wasn't me. And then uh, we went to court. and He brought you in court. for that? Court, dude. What? Court. What was the charge? I Obstructing. He was pulling someone over. Uh, it's bullshit. But these in the are middle trumped of, up charges. It was crazy. Yeah. And then in the middle of it, my dad stood up. Said something and the judge. I guess he knew the judge somehow. I don't this know. Is bullshit, Larry. And he goes. <laughs> he said something, and the judge, like jokingly, was like, "Are you? Are you his attorney?" And my dad goes, "No, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night." <laughs> Shut the fuck. The place went wild, dude. <laughs> There's no way my dad's taking a solid shit. Do you I see bad? the turlets. Have you smelled his dumps? Like I haven't smelled a dump, but I've seen the aftermath. If you go to my <laughs> parents' house, if you go up to the my parents' bathroom, Jackson Pollock is on like the a, back. Dude. It's, it's a rest stop mosaic? It's a rest stop mosaic, <laughs> dude. He sprays the turlet. He hits the spray every time. And you can hear it, dude. Every, you know, every time Phil shits, it starts with like a... <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny, you can just yell, you can be like, hey, 
He's like, shut up. <laughs> I used to, I, lay, I laid on Phil watching football. That's pretty sick. Too, too late, like late. Like I was big. <laughs> yeah. And I was a big fucking kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was huge, dude. I was laying on, I was like 5'8", laying on him. <laughs> It was, it was like two adult men just laying on, <laughs> laying on each other watching football. He was probably buzzed as hell, too. He was probably <laughs> fucked up, dude. He was probably shit-facing. I remember oh. the, the thing I remember the most is just my head would be on his stomach, and it was just constantly like... <laughs> like, I, like even as a kid i was like that's crazy <laughs> something's wrong but now i have it now i have the same same gut as my father oh. yeah it's got to be so sad the day that your kid can't lay on you anymore it's like all right this i is did a- used to uh, sock him in the nuts oh dude i get i get hit in my nuts as hard as humanly possible once a day yeah, the, ch- Just the children one, love it. Dude. Once a day, I got fucking kicked directly in my sack yesterday, <laughs> like full jumped on it. It was terrible. Wait, what's the Elks? The Elks Lodge. It's the fraternal or- brotherhood. <laughs> they have a they the have fraternal a fraternal order. Yeah, <laughs> they have a man frat. Yeah, they have a frat. It really, just, it's just for dudes to get the fuck out of the house. Is it? Is there dues? Do you have to pay to get in? Yeah, really? they're like throwing <laughs> my dad like was named bucks? the rookie of the year. What? His first year. They have a rookie of the year. My father has a picture at the Elks. It, it, well, he did it for a year, called the Rookie of the Year. It was a picture of Phil. How do you get <laughs> blazer? How do you in a suit? How do you get rookie status? Just dominated. Showed up nonstop. Put down brewskis. <laughs> yeah, what kind of stats? People were like, up? "Damn, this guy's this is unprecedented." <laughs> <laughs> that is actually pretty sad. What getting the Rookie of the Year? Rookie the of the Year at a local bar that when you're like rules. sixty years old. <laughs> kind of rules. People are like, "Holy shit, this guy's an alcoholic." <laughs> What's the age range for the dudes? There's some young bro. My bros are getting into it from yeah. back home, which is the Elks does rule. It's like a dollar a beer. Yeah, that sounds you incredible. You pay your dues, you get like fifty cents of beers. There was a bar in Westchester called the Eagles. It's a popcorn thing. machine. Oh. Only one that's allowed to have his way with anybody I love is my father. My father for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I tell you, my dad tried to read my book and he made it five pages in and went, ew, and just closed it. He's like, that's fucking weird, man. He's like, I had to stop. That shit was weird. My dad, yeah, they're, they're very negative entities, fathers. Yeah. My, dad, my dad called me this week and he was like, I got some new material for you when you come home. Perfect. Because the stuff you're doing now is a little stale. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> you fucking so, piece of shit. That's so fucking funny, dude. I got to go home to get my new material. True. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> you should spread the rumor that Phil's been ghostwriting this whole Phil time. Phil ghostwrites all of it. Sitting at that computer in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, how do you fucking... <laughs> There's been a printer in my parents' basement next to his computer that I think is not... It's a Bluetooth printer. <laughs> that's just a decade has sat there totally never used once <laughs> it's still it's brand new it looks brand new because <laughs> he has no idea and he keeps trying to send shit to the printer <laughs> that's so funny because that's the glasses come down for that operation glasses dude. come that's every single day <laughs> he's down there just <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> he's got a desktop down there just so slow. I can't believe he still has a job. I know. <laughs> like they gotta fire him. No, dude. They made just, just, dude. The boomers made so much money that it's just like whatever. It's just they are truly just the bros hanging yeah. out. And that's how. That's all it is. He's a salesman. All his partnerships are just other dudes. Yeah. None of them can operate computers. They have to. Tra- <laughs> he has to drive to Syracuse. To be like, did you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no emails. He's got a Ford Taurus. He's got to take up to fucking Buffalo to be like, is everything good? And they're like, yes. <laughs> but oh. now all the old dudes are getting they're getting ousted. So now it's young kids. Oh. Now it's my dad working with dudes like our age. How is it? He's got to be so fucking funny. I'd be so pumped if that was my like, one of my sales reps was Phil coming in and being like, let's go to the casino. Oh, it'd be so like, funny. Dude, yes. Yeah, that'd be fun. Phil's coming. We're getting fucking wrecked this weekend. Dude. Uh, it's the only way you can keep sales relationships alive. True. Because you go out. You, you have go, to face face. Fellas, let's go get fucked up. Let's have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. They're trying to outlaw that. Who? A lot of like companies are like, you can't go like business expenses. You can't write off that's like bullshit. you guys going to the bars anymore. That's bull. Yeah, that's bullshit. 
<laughs> Phil uses ice cream. Phil's a user. I'll catch him. I'll be down watching TV. You know me. I'm a night owl, so I'm down there. Right and I'll on, see yeah, Phil man. come down at around 1 a.m. Oh. Shirtless. Big ass gut in the kitchen. Just. Bit, of, bit of a fruit bat, dude. <laughs> He's a complete fruit bat. He's an Australian fruit bat. I turn around and say, Phil, what the hell are you doing out there? He's like, what? What? I was sitting with Phil, so that was very fun. I got to trick Phil. Nice. Got to put on the Nickelodeon slime football game. And so, like, when someone scores, they throw green stuff all over the field. It's fake. It's all, you know, yeah, yeah. filters and shit. But the first thing was, like, there was just a Santa Claus at wide receiver. And he, like, ran a route. And I could see my dad, like, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, a player would score. They'd throw slime all over him. Wait, He's so like, Nickelodeon pays to broadcast the game yeah. and slimes everybody? Yeah. Who watches that? The field goal becomes SpongeBob. It was actually, oh, it was actually pretty kids enjoyable. Kind of quiet, yeah. yeah, too. You can keep the, watch yes. the game and keep your kids. It was pretty enjoyable. That's kind of nice. I liked the animated Santa running around on the field. Yeah, dude. But it was nice to see Phil. You know, and all the player like introductions were like cartoons of the players. He, he probably thought he was fucking losing it. So, um, I mean, it, he has been like out of touch with like graphics. You know, I mean, when he watches football, it's not what he used, to, what he remembered. True. He's starting to get like, what the hell is this? Because it's all like, it's like a, you know, like Fox football is like a robot. Like, yeah, I was, I was telling someone too. It looks, it looks more like video games. You just look more like the game. Now the game looks yeah. more like video games. It's kind of weird. You're exactly right. It's kind of. Has nuts. anybody figured out slime soccer? Dude, my dad. No, they can lower the. Court. My dad would get angry there if we a, lowered the hoop. Yeah, Why? I, I agree with that. My dad would get mad. Just out of like a, it should be high. Like yeah, he's like, put yeah, it at ten. Learn how 10. to play basketball. He would get angry. He'd see me <laughs> out. Like, throwing my basketball coach though. Yeah. I mean, he beat me up that time when I didn't play basketball. I've told you this story. What? Me and my friend were walking to the park, and he was like, what are you doing? And I, we had tennis rackets. I was like, we're going to play tennis. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to play basketball. And I was like. Dude, I had the same exact shit happen to me. I went, because yeah. it was right when South Park came out, the movie, where they were like, can we have five tickets to Terrence Phillips' Asses of Fire? No. Nah. So I was doing that to everybody. And Phil goes, no, you're going to go play basketball. And I went, no. <laughs> and he walked into the garage, and we just kept walking. We're cutting through all these houses in the backyards. Dude, Phil comes five houses down. He comes sprinting from between houses. That movie, he was an unhinged. Dude, he, he was Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe and Fully unhinged, unhinged dude. Yeah. And then he chased me. In an open field. I never saw my dad during the day. I, never saw my dad. I, I saw my dad. Dude, dude, I fell down and he started kicking me. You ran? And he gave bro, me an elbow drop. Jacked. Yeah, he was. Phil he was jumped jacked. on me. For playing tennis? For trying to play tennis. You'd rather and, do some well, for saying shit, no. Dude. Oh, yeah. There you go. No. <laughs> dude, five houses down. It's very far for him to be looking. So did you say no to him and then he waited? And he got like, I said no and he walked back into the walked, garage. We and then walked. he got. He did. He thought about it, yes, and then he dude. searched for me, <laughs> and then saw me and sprinted. You pissed him off so far, so much. Dude, I'm talking like Terry Tate, office linebacker. Oh, I saw him coming. He was like a, fo a football field away. Holy I saw him running shit. that far, dude. And what it were was you like? like it was fucking, from. It's from a movie. Yeah, no, at first he was. He was. He understood it was while he was chasing me. He was laughing, <laughs> and then he got. He caught me. And for real, was like you don't fucking lie, you're fucking you don't talk back, dude. Like that's what I, that's it's a rage. Insane. It's a rage you don't understand. In front of my friend, yeah. Hey, my, dude. It's just me and my friend. That's my dad the worst. Gave me an elbow drop. That's the worst. I Getting mean, an elbow drop in front of your friend. I was like, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, Dad, no. <laughs> Did he punch me in the face for a no once? Yeah. It was an accident. He tried to grab me by the collar. The phone was sitting Caught next to me. I was on the computer, and I, he goes, "Answer the phone." It was ringing. I got no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he walked straight back. He tried to grab my collar. I ducked. He punched me. Blood fucking coming oh out my my of my nose. What the fuck, Dad? Did you act abused for like the yeah. next week? Yeah. That's amazing. Dude, there's a rage dads have that I can't understand, but like I kind of get. I yeah, might probably denied sniz and paying for everyone's meals. My no, sister, also, if you have a child, you've raised a fucking. And then me sitting around like a fucking fat idiot playing yeah. games Think and being like, answer the phone. And I'm like, no. Ah! He's probably just like, <laughs> dude, I'm going to beat the fuck out of this kid. No. <laughs> Hold on. Phil played me and my friend two on one in football once. Really? That's we were watching football. You, dude. And my dad was like, you, you guys want to go play football? We ran the option. So whoever was the quarterback would pitch it. My dad would spear whoever was oh, the quarterback. That's just it, then dude. he would score and run onside kicks. <laughs> onside kicks on backyard football. And roll football the ball in the backyard. And if you tried to get it, he would run on that. Phil's last chance you, It's right? unbelievable. Yeah.
<laughs> That's so sick. Uh, yeah, me and my friend still say it to this day. He was running into the end zone going, yeah, baby. <laughs> we can't, we keep saying it. He's going, yeah, baby. <laughs> You're like, dude, this is nuts. He must have probably had a buzz. Definitely. Probably yeah. came home from the Alex and was like, you boys want to play a little football? And, it, and that's my thing with my dad. I swear to God, all this shit is 60%. It's what? just to fuck with you. Yeah. Like, if that's... Yeah, like, but he was all... Dude, he was leveling my friend. I get it, but I'm just saying, like, how big How big were you guys? We were probably, like, 7th, 8th grade, maybe. That's, all right, you're big legal. enough. Yeah, you're big enough. He was yeah. drilling us, dude. He was was he tackling ready. to the ground? Like, yes. uh, or just, we like... playing tackle throw, Like, throw his shoulder and knock you down? Or was he, like... Like dude, dude, alligator Phil rolling, wanted, form Phil wanted, tackle. Dude. Phil was big thirty three, dude. Yeah, Phil was big thirty three. He was. <laughs> yeah. Phil wanted to see if he could tackle high schoolers. Well, Back when I lived at my parents, Phil would fuck with me. I'm gonna go messing with Shane Squash because <laughs> of fucking a beef jerky commercial. <laughs> dads love commercials. Dude. Yeah, they, Ever since the Budweiser frogs, dads have oh, just dude. been. Where's the beef? They love catchphrases. Completely taken down. Right now, I think their collective mind is on the show Yellowstone for some reason. They all talk about Yellowstone. Every time I talk to someone, they're like, have you seen Yellowstone? Phil hasn't gotten hit, gotten hit with it yet. Is he a big TV series head or he's no. more sports guy? My Although he was on The Wire for a while this past yeah. year, which made me very happy. That's pretty tight. He liked The Wire. That's a treat. It's pretty enjoyable. Did yeah. I ever tell you about his shoes? No, was he rocking? He's got, he got a black and white Air Force One. Oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. yeah. Who he got had him no idea. Again? I think my sister. Yeah. He has no idea what they are. He's just been rocking. He's just them. been wearing them with like light jeans and a tucked in Big fucking t shirt. <laughs> He's been wearing Air Force Ones. He has stomping. no idea. He has no idea. He's just stomping in his Air Force Ones. He's stomping, dude. <laughs> Big ball. <laughs> dude. That's so then he goes funny. to the Elks and he says, Give me two beers. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like I always think about my mind taking in negative things and it just sets off this whole cocktail of reactions in my body. Yeah. Constantly. It doesn't stop. No shit. It's so funny. I don't think it'll ever stop, by the way. I don't think it will either. Yeah. Because then you just get old and like worse problems. And then you just Maybe take- you get old and just ride it out. Old men seem to have it. Yeah. Like if you talk to your dad or Phil, if yeah. I like Phil, what's going on? He's like, I don't give it. Like shoot me in the fucking Dude, head. Dude, literally. End this. Every picture my dad takes, he goes, that's going to look good in my funeral. Dude, yeah. Put they it, love save it. that one. He calls it his box party. That looks good at my box party. That's, a, that's such might... a funny cope, dude. They're so afraid of oh, death. Oh, I know. Dude, they're, they're so terrified. afraid. They're terrified. It's the only way you can do it is just be like, nah, I can't wait. Yeah, you can make your dad cry I'm in two done. seconds. If you just stop them at a barbecue, I'm like, dude, you did a really good job as my dad. Dude, I love you. They'll just be like, Whoa. Yeah. They'll cry. Father. Do you say I love you to him? Yeah. Oh, man, but he doesn't so nice. say it back. Really? Phil does. Phil never, dude. Phil Me and my dad such, won't do it. We've never Phil has such it. a hard time with it. I yeah. don't say it to him anymore. I say I love you to my mom while I'm on the yeah. phone with my mom and dad. I go, yeah. I love you, mom. I go, all right, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See a other guy in the car <laughs> yeah. that I don't care about. I'm going to do it to him. I'm going to give it to him one day. <laughs> I love you? I fucking love it's you, tough. Man. It is. They handle it real weird. I told you when Phil, I was Phil goes, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. I accidentally hugged my dad one time and he went, like that, and he flinched. And was like, Ugh. yeah. Because I was like, I was coming out of a breakfast. I like went to hug my mom, and I like wasn't paying attention. It was just my dad, and I went to hug him, and he went, "Whoa." My mom. I think we've talked about it before. My mom got into a recent, like the last like eight years, she started hugging. Ooh. We've always hugged a little, but yeah. like she try to kiss you on the cheek when you come home. Yeah, I do hug. She's short, and she always hits me in the neck, and I was oh. like, ew. Oh. And, and I, she's like, yeah, <laughs> and like here, I'm like all right, mom, you don't love me. I'm like mom, stop. It's gross. You should bend down. <laughs> I'm going to get it. Next time she goes for it, I'm going to go. (laughs) Stop kissing, dude. It's weird. It's just what you wanted. I should try to kiss Phil on the cheek. He'd push me. He'd fight, yeah. If you can't, dude. No, he would know. See, Phil's got a good sense of humor. He would know I was fucking with him. What the hell are you doing? You guys have that back deck. If he's ever standing, looking over, come from behind him and kiss (laughs) him on the the, Kiss him on the back of his neck. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Holy shit, dude. That he would like. He would fucking smash. Yeah, he would stand up. He'd pull you guys both over the edge. And he tries to, like, when I fuck with him, when he's on his recliner, I love, like, coming up and slapping him in the head and shit. (gasps) He tries to get up, like, fast, like he's going to chase me. He's always like, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck with him I take Dude when he's drinking I always take the remote from him oh, It's so oh fucking fun God. He comes over to the Elks And when I'm home I try I don't drink I'm home I'm yeah. just like Hanging out 
Phil comes home from the Elks. I'm like, we'll sit down. We'll go to get another drink. I'll take the remote. <gasps> sit back down on the couch. <laughs> he comes back and he's like, <laughs> give me a remote, Shane. <laughs> he to go, do the whole fucking. <laughs> like I, let him, I, let, I let him touch his hand He's like fucking let go of it <laughs> oh, So fun That's dude. the best dude You're tease. Yeah. Give me it <laughs> and then he'll, he'll laugh and then he'll switch into like actually mad like <laughs> He gets furious hey, Give me the fucking remote that is, that is a perfect like spaz brain though <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. ah, seriously, like no seriously you knock the fuck off God damn it <laughs> But yeah the slow get up is great If I kissed the back of his neck he would do that oh, On the deck God. he'd be like <laughs> the hell you doing? <laughs> you fucking kiss your father on the neck. Imagine, imagine if he said a male prostitute to the house. Yeah, it's a hot male prostitute. Oh, what if it worked? <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, this is gonna be a funny prank? And then my dad fucked a guy. <laughs> Just tore apart my entire family in existence. <laughs> Phil was gay? Shane, why did you do that? What the <laughs> hell? Oh. Send over that damn guy. Oh, just an him. olive skin man with like a ponytail. <laughs> goes out and fucking gets gay. I think Phil and Tommy hooked up at the beach on the beach trip. <laughs> <laughs> they, loved, they were talking a lot, dude. I think Phil liked looking at Tommy's body. Dad, stop fucking my comedy friends, dude. <laughs> Dad. I had to get woken up at 8 a.m. Who woke you? Phil pound, dude. He ah. pounds on the door like oh, he's serving a fucking warrant. <laughs> It's fucking crazy, dude. It nothing bothers me more. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. Get up. That's how he fucking does it. That's the best. It's so fucking annoying, dude. And no. then I'm furious. And then my mom's yelling. Jane. <laughs> From she's like a cat, dude. She'll stand outside your door. Jane. Jane. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Gotta get moving. Oh my god. Shut up. You're having like grade school flashbacks. Dude, I was having I had a wild night. Yo, I also <laughs> somebody created? trashed Phil on a comment we were talking about today. What the fuck? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I was reading them to him. Did it get him? Because people were killing him and then they were someone was like, Why does Phil have such fucking tragically small feet? <laughs> <laughs> Just eviscerated him. He has tiny feet, dude. <laughs> Phil has little tiny feet. He wears like size tens. He's six two. <laughs> so I forget they were killing him, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> like he looks like he's got Freddy Krueger's skin. <laughs> he was like dark red Why'd and freckled. Like, it? Why'd you show him? Because it was so funny. Because no. I was like, Phil, the comments are getting you. He's like, I don't care what those guys oh, say. Man. I was like, here's one. Yeah, I would read it. He'd be so. like, he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he started laughing. <laughs> he just got him right away. Imagine like if there was like a uh, psycho sports dad who did that same energy. On their kid. Yeah, they? it does. It happens all the time. Dude. It shatters the kid. Thank God. Phil Phil was close. He could have been that. Psycho sports parent. He he occasionally he would show up and watch practice. That's tipping. <laughs> he was bordering. But during the games, he never he would never yell one. He just, See, he just he was stood just, at the top of the bleachers. He was just invested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, one time I got done, my sophomore <laughs> sophomore year. <laughs> no, this is crazy. I get done. I came down to the basement where Phil was down there and he he like muted the television when I sat down on the couch and he was like how do you think you played tonight <laughs> I was like what the <laughs> fuck he was like if you had to grade yourself what would you give it I was like the fucking B he's right. like I say D but <laughs> I was like holy shit Phil that was the only time he ever did it he was mad at how I played I'm like talking to my dad, like, what's your cable plan? He's like, it's like $750. Dude, I'm like, dude, stop paying. This. It works for me. I just steal everything. Phil has True. HBO Max. True. You get to, I get to watch the Phil's. I steal $400 <laughs> worth of Phil shit. <laughs> he has no idea. I'm like, dude, you don't need He's like, yeah, but it's right there. You flick. You talk to my remote. Yeah. Pull, I'm like, dude. And that never They're like, <laughs> Philly's baseball. <laughs> God damn it. Comcast Sports Network. It's like, you requested Paw Patrol. God damn it. It's like an Indian smelling me. Yes. I was fucking with, I was home after the Hershey shows. I was doing this to Phil. No. I was home. And I kept going, Phil, fucking look at this. <laughs> this is the exact photo. I Googled naked man's ass. <laughs> I kept going like that. Goes, show, God, show 
That's good stuff. That's <laughs> naked man's ass. Just a hunk's ass. <laughs> hunk's ass. Because so I was just sitting there. We we were hanging out with Phil all day, and I was like, Phil, what are you what are you doing? Just sitting there thinking about guys' nuts and asses. He was like, Yeah, okay, Shane. I was like, Dad, all you do is think about guys' asses. When my grandma was his age. She I, we talked about. It. She fell behind a bush trying to get her hose and just had to lay there for like seven hours. In the summer, behind a bush. In oh, the, really? In the mulch, just, oh, finally, no. just finally, the neighbor kids got home from school, and she was like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> they just saw an old. It was a witch. Dude. <laughs> saw an old woman's head sticking out from a bush. Oh my god! They probably thought like, the azaleas don't go over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. She's gonna eat us. Oh, they probably thought like the azaleas were talking to her, talking to them or whatever. That's fine. Yeah. That's terrifying. Boys, He's geezed up. Yeah, I'm telling you. I told her the last. I gotta tell this. It makes me laugh every single time. Phil, she was living with us. She fell right, at the, right at the front door. She was just on the ground <laughs> next to our front door in like that side room. Just she was just laying on the floor. Phil had to move a couch in, so he asked the neighbor kid to carry it in with him. Oh. So the kid was carrying the other, the that end. Phil's walking it in. The kid goes in first and is like. Oh my god! <laughs> like he's just an old woman just laying on the ground. And Phil came in second. It was like, ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> there was just a downed woman. Just a downed woman. And you know how weird it is when you go into like your neighbor's house. Yeah, like you just see this house every single day oh, of your yeah. life, and then you finally get inside, it and you're like, whoa. Yeah, true. I had no idea what this was. Oh, then you see just an old a woman laying on the ground, like hello. <laughs>